So what is up Africana fam going straight into this install video I am using my bold hold liquid gold to prep my hairline I like to use this product because it dries very fast So what I'm doing right now is putting the product on my edges just so I can slick back my edges Because you want to make sure that you have some slick back edges for your ball cap method And then I'm just using my blow dryer on medium heat and I'm just kind of molding it into place And please do not mind the gel that's in my braids you guys I soon take out my meeks and redo them for my birthday okay so don't judge and by the way if you have not clicked that subscribe button go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that bell right next to my name to get notified of when i drop my videos but right now like i said i'm just applying the bold hold liquid gold on my hairline and then i'm just using my brush just to slick it back and then using my blow dryer just to blow dry and mold it into place and this is very imperative especially when you have natural like edges and they curl up because you just want to have a flat and seamless install now that that's done i'm going in with my wig cap you want to make sure you get a wig cap that's closest to your skin tone just because you want this to look as if like you're bald okay the whole point is for it to look like your scalp so i went in with a wig cap that's closest to my skin tone and i'm going to go ahead and cut around my ear tabs just so we have the wig cap nice and flat and now I'm going into my foundation color. I'm using my foundation just to go ahead and tint the wig cap because the wig cap isn't exactly my skin color. And you want to make sure that you go in with a foundation color that's a bit darker than you. And the reason why I say this is because you want it to be able to mesh um, nicely underneath your lace. Um, so now I'm going into my bold hold look of gold again and I'm using that just to secure my wig cap for our install. So I just put that all around the perimeter of my hairline and then I'm just smoothing it back into the hairline. And we're going to go ahead and just let that dry. But back onto why I like it darker is because sometimes when you're putting your lace frontal on and stuff you can see the wig cap underneath and it's more seamless when you have your wig cap a little bit darker than you than when it's lighter than you because it is more visible underneath your lace so that is the reason why I go a little bit darker I went ahead and used my blow dryer just to make sure it was dry and while it's drying I'm gonna go ahead and sew down the back of my wig cap just so that it stays in place and there is no shifting and moving with the wig cap and then I just simply knotted it at the end and then cut off the excess thread. Now onto cutting our wig cap. I'm using these cuticle scissors and I'm cutting in the middle of the wig cap. I like to do this and work from side to side just so that the wig cap doesn't loosen up or move or anything. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just gently lifting up the wig cap until where the gel stops. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut across where the gel is at just we, we have a nice and seamless um cut and again i'm not pulling i'm just gently lifting it up to see where the gel is at and i'm cutting and this would just you know help um remove any of the little excess frayed wig cap you know it just makes it more precise and exact with the cut And then now I'm just going in and I'm kind of working in sections just because I couldn't really see that side of my head as well. So I'm just working in sections, lifting it up and then cutting. And again, do not pull, just like lift up. And overall, this is how your bald cap method should look like. It's looking very seamless and this was super easy. Now on to the next step. I already have my hair curled. If you want to see how I curl and layer my hair, I will leave the video down below in the description box. 
right now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Lancome Tintite Doll Foundation which is my exact foundation shade and I'm using that to tint my um, lace and now when it comes to tinting the lace afterwards I like to spray some gossip be free spray on the hairline just so that the oil oil doesn't transfer onto the glue and I went ahead and I just put on the wig and I'm measuring it and I'm just pulling it taut to where like my head fits and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my ear tabs now because I have a big old head you guys I don't really have much to cut but on the other side I did have a little bit more to cut so I'm just using my rat tail comb and I'm carving around where my ear is and then I'm gonna cut around where my ear is at Now what I like to do is I like to cut slits just so I can kind of mark out my sections and this just helps me um, with the gluing process because I kind of do it in sections and you guys are going to see that more further on. But now that I have cut my slits I'm just going to go ahead and just fold the wig back and then I'll be using my 91% alcohol and then a paper towel just to wipe off any of the the residue I have in my forehead and this is very imperative you guys you want to make sure that you do this because if you do not have your oils or the dirt on your forehead removed your hair will not lay you guys the lace will not lay so make sure that you're cleaning it with 91% alcohol now the lace system I will be using is the Erica J hold me down lace system I'm using the skin guard across my forehead first this serves as a primer for all my sensitive skin gals and overall just helps the adhesive last longer now i'm going into my adhesive and i like to apply the adhesive right on the hairline and then a bit on the cap so this first layer that i'm doing kind of serves as just like you know just to protect the wig cap I like to do my first layer just to make sure that the wig cap is secured and it's nice and flat so it meshes with my skin so right now what I'm using is a popsicle stick and I'm just smoothing it down and you want to make sure that you smooth it down into a nice consistent layer you do not want any lumps or bumps at all and like I said make sure that you get it on the cap and then a bit on your skin this will just ensure that your lace would definitely stick because your skin does produce oils and the cap does not so the cap just serves as like you know more space for you to apply some glue so please make sure you do the ball cap method because it also protects your edges as well y'all and I promise you this process it will not take out your edges if you take it out the right way okay so like I said I'm just going in with my popsicle stick and I'm just smearing it down until um, it's nice and flat and there's no air bubbles or no lumps and bumps and you want to make sure that you let it dry completely like clear you do not want to see any white before you apply your next layer and as you guys can see you want to make sure that your width of the glue is about that thick so like about an inch thick to ensure that the lace will stick and this is where a lot of people mess up at because people sit down there and just apply about like you know a thin width of the glue and this is why sometimes you experience your lace lifting or it's not sticking down it's because the width of the glue isn't large enough okay so you want to make sure that you have about an inch of width when it comes to the glue I'm not telling you to apply a whole bunch of glue, but make sure that the width of the glue is enough. Now to ensure that you have a maximum hold, I would definitely recommend to use three to five layers. Five layers meaning that you probably want it to last for about two plus weeks. And of course, sometimes when it comes to body chemistry, everybody's longevity um, journey lasts differently. Sometimes, you know, your skin can produce more oils than others would as and that will be the reason as to why your installs won't last that long but this glue in general the erica j hold me down adhesive whether if it's the original formula or the watermelon formula the only difference is the smell this is the best glue to use for beginners if you struggle with your lace lifting this glue is like crazy glue 
<laughs> but for hair and it's safe for hair okay so it's really good i definitely recommend to use this glue and again we're just gonna let this layer dry completely clear before we add our last and final layer okay All right, you guys, after this last layer is dried, we're gonna go ahead and apply our lace, you guys. So now what I'm doing is I like to apply my lace way in front of the glue. The reason why I like to do this is again, you wanna make sure that you have a good width when it comes to your lace installs just so it can last long as well too. But also you don't want, you don't want to overestimate the glue i'd rather me go back in and apply some glue than for me to take off glue so i just like to apply my lace in front of the glue and i'm not pressing down on the lace into the glue just yet i want to make sure i have it in a good spot and making sure that there is no glue in front of my hairline before i press it down and after that i see that i'm going to go ahead and just gently use my hands to press it down this isn't really recommended or like use a comb to press it down but i just press it down just because you know i'm kind of a pro at this you know but definitely use a comb to press it down and that's what i'm doing right now i'm just using my comb and i'm kind of just putting pressure onto the lace into the glue just so it could adhere and now i'm going into my blow dryer in medium heat and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry my hairline so now on to our sections I like to work in my middle section first and I'm using the eyebrow razor just to cut my um, hairline you could use shears too but for my beginners I would definitely like advise you to use an eyebrow razor just because it gives you more of a jagged look and you want to cut in a jagged motion you do not want to cut straight across now what I'm doing is I'm using my rat tail comb. Um, this is like my detailing part. I like to use my rat tail comb and kind of like, you know, outline um, where my lace is ending at. And then I'm going to go in and apply two layers of the glue with my rat tail comb. I'm just going to smooth it in. The rat tail comb just helps you get into the little pieces and crevices of lace that you wouldn't normally get with your popsicle stick. So again, I'm just using two layers and I'm going to let each layer dry completely before I go ahead and press the lace in.
so I just went in with a small buffer brush and I applied some of my foundation just a little bit and I'm just gonna go ahead and dab in to my um, lace with my foundation All right, now on to baby hair. I like to just carve out my baby hairs. And if you guys want to see a full um, like tutorial on how I do my baby hairs, I have that up on my channel right now. So I'll leave that also in my description box below. description box below I have a label that's the baby hair tutorial okay but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and just swoop my baby hairs in and I'm just gonna do that all alongside of the hairline overall I'm going to use um, or not use but I'm gonna do I believe it's seven baby hairs so it's one in the middle and then three on the side Now I'll be going in with my silk wrap and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my hairline. And I'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes or until you feel that it is dry completely. And you can tell when it's dry, especially um, just from like your silk wrap if it's not wet anymore. So I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes or until it's dry and then we're going to go ahead and take that off. And as you guys can see, 
that Nairobi setting lotion really sets that lace in, you guys. So now what I'm doing is I'm combing on my baby hairs because you know your girl don't like hard baby hairs. And overall, it didn't look finished as well too, so I just wanna fix it up. So I'm just combing them out and I'm also just gonna go ahead and cut any fray hairs that I have just lingering around just so that our baby hairs could look perfect and laid. And I'm going in with my hot comb, my Andes hot comb on its hottest setting, which is on 20. And I'm going to go ahead and just press out my hairline just so it can look nice and perfect. And then I'm using my baby hair brush and some spritz just to form my baby hair so it can look nice and laid. And I spray the spritz on the brush. I do about one pump. And then I'm going to go ahead and just form my baby hairs. And this will just give it a nice hold. It won't make it hard or crunchy unless you put a lot. But I'm just putting one spritz. Going to go ahead and just swoop them things. And yeah, you guys. We are looking pretty laid. And overall, these are the finished results. I went ahead and did my makeup off camera and stuff. And my hair was already styled, as I've seen before. If you want to see how I achieve those layers and the curls, go ahead and check that link down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!